NBC TV 18 brought you the ground report on the water crisis that's plaguing Lato district in Maharashtra in a bid to provide interim relief to Lato city. The Devendra Fadnavis government has re requisitioned two supply trains to transport water. The first of these trains will complete the trial run tomorrow. Alexander Matthew and Advet Mehta get you this ground report. This goods train will be more eagerly awaited and more heartily welcomed by residents of Latur city in Maharashtra's parched Maratwara region than any before it. That's because this carries precious cargo, water. If you remember just two weeks ago, CNBC TV 18 traveled to Latur to find out how bad the situation really is. This is Manzara Dam. Till February, it was the principal source of water for eight major habitations in the Maratwada region, including Latur and a hundred other villages. In February, this dam went dry completely. These trains, which are actually oil carriers, were first sent to a workshop in Kota, Rajasthan, where they were steam cleaned to make them fit to transport drinking water. As a trial run, this train will carry 10 wagons each with a carrying capacity of 50,000 litres. After the 15th of April, the government aims to ensure that two trains with 50 wagons each will shuttle to Latur from Miraj in western Maharashtra twice a week. This well is collection centre for the water being brought by the supply trains. Its capacity is 25 lakh litres. From here, the water will be taken to the treatment centres and then distributed to residents of Latur city. Latur city has a population of around 5 lakh people. If the trains make two trips every week, they'll supply 1 crore litres of water. Assuming equitable distribution of water, that's just about 20 litres per person per week. That's hardly enough, especially if the water reserves in Latur district, which currently stand at less than 5 million cubic metres, run dry. With Advait Mehta in Latur, in Mumbai, Alexander Matthew.